Do you want to learn how to land your first programming job? If you're watching this, odds are you've done a handful of Udemy courses. You might have even taken a boot camp. You've done all kinds of fun challenges, but the reality is I sat down with Mark and I asked him very quickly, how can students go from where they are now to getting a job? What are those baseline requirements? So Mark wanted to take about two and a half minutes and he recorded this video. It was mainly for all of our massive DevSelps community, but I wanted to share it over with everybody else. But I think you're going to love this. So how do you get a brand new dev job? Let's say you're brand new. Oh, there's a lot of different things to consider. First off, you're gonna to wanna to apply at a startup. They're easier to get into. Uh, so we'll start there. If you're gonna apply at a startup, the biggest hurdle that you have is showing the job experience. You can actually pass an interview with flying colors. I've seen it. I've seen developers pass all the interview questions and then the company says, well, you don't have any experience. So that's the biggest hurdle actually, even more so than the, the data structures, algorithms, things like that is, is convincing a company why they should hire somebody who's new, which is why getting freelance projects is so critical. Now, in terms of what you actually need to know, whether it's web development, Android development, or iOS development, you need to know all the fundamental user interface things that you need for those platforms. And then you also need to be able to be a master of APIs. That's allowing your app or website to talk to a server, knowing how to talk to the server, how to download the JSON, how to parse it, uh, authentication, simple security, things like JSON, web tokens, you know, all of those things are critical to working as a front end developer, uh, iOS developer, Android developer, web developer on the front end. You got to know that. Once you're a master Master that stuff, uh, you can get a wider array of jobs if you can show the relevant experience. So in terms of data structures and algorithms, so data structures, you just need to know your core data structures to get that first entry level job or that job at the startup, which you know is things like an array or a dictionary, okay, or a JavaScript object, variables, constants, the things like that, the things that you, you learn in any programming language. And in terms of algorithms, there's no specific algorithm you need to know or have memorized, okay? What companies want to see is that you can solve problems. Algorithms are just code that you write to solve problems. That's all it is. That's the code that you actually write. Uh, and so it's good to do coding challenges, creating uh, a binary search tree or uh, a bubble sort algorithm or creating your own linked list. That's a data structure. Doing those exercises will help get your core skills up, but you can't master a whole bunch of different data structures and algorithms and hope to get into a job. That's not how it works. Those are core skills you learn as you go along. So you learn the core components of the user interface, master APIs, and if you can match that with some freelance work on your background, you're going to get a job. Don't worry about the data structures and algorithms uh, in, in terms of getting that first entry level job. Now, if you're going to go work for Google, you need to do lots of coding challenges, like, you know, a year of coding challenges, like to get those core skills up. Because even over there, you don't memorize certain data structures or algorithms to get the job. They need, they want to see that you have those skills. So that's how it works. All right, so this gives you a very solid understanding of how to get initially started down that career path for getting a programmer and landing your first job. Now, additionally, what can you do after this? The first thing I wanna recommend is we have a ton of resources at devslopes.com. We have a ton of free courses as well. And worst case scenario, if you wanna figure out maybe some paths that you can explore and how we help all of our students become paid developers, typically within an eight to 16 month period, all you have to do is go to devslopes.com forward slash apply and you can get started from there. Talk soon.